the most valuable and expensive German stamps of 1952. The 5 Deutschmark stamp of 1952 was issued on the occasion of the 500th anniversary. From the birth of Leonardo da Vinci, born in 1452, he is famous all over the world for his inventiveness. He was a scientist, inventor, and Italian artist. Painted the Mona Lisa portrait that you will be able to see on this stamp. Oil painting on poplar panel. It is the most famous portrait in history. According to tradition. It is the representation of Lisa Gherardini. Italian noblewoman. Who is part of an ancient rich family. Above the portrait. You will be able to see the writing of the artist's name and surname. Leonardo da Vinci. On the side. Written in German. Which means German post. Lower left. The nominal value of the piece. 5 German marks. Followed by the period commemorating the 500th anniversary of the birth of Leonardo da Vinci. Postage stamp dated 1952. It is 33 mm high. 28 mm wide. Nearly 12 million units were issued. And today it is worth $5. The 1952 DM10 stamp. Depicts the face of Martin Luther. Theologian and founder of Protestantism. It created a different thought from the Catholic Church. So much so that it received much acceptance in the world. And managing to create not only a different religion. But also a real institution. Such as the Lutheran Federation. On the side. You will see some writing in German. Which indicate that in 1952. The Second International Assembly of the Lutheran Church was made. In the city of Hanover in Germany. Assembly meeting in a city scarred by the Second World War. But with a great will to rebuild the future. This organization. It was the first internationally. To reunite after the war. And to elect a German as its president. Lower left. The nominal value of the piece reported as number. 10 German marks. 33 mm high stamp. 28 mm wide. Was issued in 5 million pieces. And it's worth $15. The 20 Deutschmark stamp of 1952. Was issued to commemorate. The liberation of the Heligoland Bay. A maritime extension in the North Sea. Where he fought. During the Second World War. A major air battle between British bombers. And German fighters. Battle of 1939. Which definitively changed strategic military choices. For both sides. Considered one of the most important air battles of the entire war. On the center. You will see a civilian boat. As a symbolic sign of peace and liberation. Up. The inscription commemorating in English. The liberation of the bay. Followed by the period in which this piece was issued. Top right. The nominal value of the piece. 20 German marks. Down. The inscription German post. 23 mm high stamp. 27 mm wide. Was issued in 5 million copies. And it's worth 20 bucks. The 20 Deutschmark stamp of 1952. Depicts the bust of Karl Schurz. U.S. politician. Lived in the 18th century. Before moving to the United States of America. And start his political career. Actively participated in the German Revolution of 1848. Promoting independence from Austria. And from Prussia. And become a confederation of states similar to the United States of America. Above the face. You will be able to see the writing in German which translated means Commemoration of Karl Schurz Followed by the year of issue of the stamp 1952 Down The inscription German post Piece 32 mm high 27 mm wide Was issued in 5 million copies And worth $25 The 10 and 20 Deutschmark stamps of 1952 They were issued to commemorate youth hostels Created in the 20th century. They were meant to allow for all. Even to young people with less financial resources. To travel the world. The hostel was and continues to be a room with several beds. This allowed the traveler. To pay much less. And be able to afford a sheltered overnight stay. And with a bed to sleep on. You will see on these stamps. Of young people. Typical adventurers with their own backpack. Top on the sides. 
The nominal value of the piece. Piece is 33 mm high. 28 mm wide. It was issued in 1,500,000 copies. And the pair is worth $28 on the philatelic market. The 30 Deutschmark stamp of 1952 was issued on the occasion of the 75th anniversary by Nicholas August Otto, German engineer who lived in the 19th century, who developed the internal combustion engine, paving the way for construction and improvement of engines for both cars and machinery. Behind his profile, you will be able to see the stylized drawing of his Lenore engine, invented in 1860, could produce two horsepower, thanks to the gas-powered engine. Top left. The year commemorating the 75th anniversary. From the development of the four-stroke engine. Bottom right. The nominal value of the piece. 30 German marks. 23 mm high stamp. It is 27 mm wide. Was issued in 5 million copies. And today it is worth $40. The 30 Deutschmark stamp of 1952 was printed for the 75th anniversary of Philip Race's creation of the telephone. German scientist and inventor of the 19th century created the very first appliance capable of transmitting an electrical signal which reproduced sounds like the human voice above the bust. The inscription commemorating the event is shown to the right. The name and surname of the scientist lower the nominal value of the piece 30 German marks, 27 mm high stamp, 23 mm wide, was issued in 5 million copies, and today it is worth $100 in the philately market.